Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're talking about the magic that is 32-bit float audio. It is pure magic. But first, we're going to give a call out to one of our craft beers here. This is one of the original craft beers in Ontario, Canada. Creemore Springs have been around for a long time. They're about 30 minutes from me. This is their classic lager, and it is a damn good beer. I've been drinking this... And been one of my favorites since before I was legally supposed to have a favorite beer. Okay, so let's go into it. 32-bit float audio, what is it and how does it help you on your production and the work that you're doing? So I first saw some samples of 32-bit float audio on YouTube, um, hearing people speak about it and talking about it like it's the raw equivalent of audio recording so like in black magic raw files or in prores raw in reds raw files or like we're used to using raw files when you are taking photos there is a ton of flexibility you can push and pull stuff you can underexpose things and bring things back you can have things overexposed and bring things back and I saw some stuff with this 32-bit audio with people showing examples of it. And I wanted to try it out myself. And I really thought it would be a useful tool for the type of work that I do. So there's a few different recorders that do it. This is the Zoom F6, the new Zoom F6, or uh, kind of relatively new. And the um, sound devices Mix 6, Mix 8, and Mix 4, I think, or Premix, they're called, also record... Um, 32-bit float audio and so within the recorder you can change that you can change it so it records a bit rate of 32-bit float technically i don't really understand how it works but it works amazingly well so i want to show you guys how well it works i mean it really blew my mind it was as good as i was hoping it was going to be um so right now i got my nice little saken mic on here and i'm just going to i'm going to Fix this in post, so what you guys are going to hear is going to be sound okay. Okay, so you can see the levels on here. Now I'm just going into input one. There is six inputs on the F6, um, and you can see I am, yes, going into level one here. And I can just do something here. I can just play with this. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to get really, really close to this microphone, and I'm going to make it clip. Like, this is not optimal at all <laughs> this is uh very bad um i can also play with that by adjusting the recorder itself and bringing this way up and that is totally clipping but what you're going to be listening to is probably not going to be sounding too bad and i'm going to show you on the computer how i fix this so we're also going to do the opposite here i'm, gonna I'm just going to talk really really quietly you know sometimes you do interviews with people and they don't know how to project their voice at all. And so we're going to go into the computer right now, and I'm going to bring these files in that I just recorded there, those blowing out and super low files, and I'm going to show you how I made them sound okay for you guys and what they would have sounded like if I didn't fix them with the 32-bit float, and you're just going to see the magic of how well this crazy stuff works. So now I have these files on the computer here, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on these files. So if I open this up and we're gonna go over to the audio meters here, just so you can see, if you look at it really closely, you can see how clipping these are and they just kind of get worse and worse here. I don't wanna wreck your ears here, so I'm just gonna play a little bit. And I can just do something here. I can just play with this and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna get really, really close to this microphone. Like that's bad. That's pretty, really bad. Like really clipping. This stuff, I, I don't know if it will be able to bring this back. The 32-bit float will be able to bring this back or not. Because this is like... <laughs> like, it's crazy. Now, you go a little bit farther in here. We're going to go to that stuff where I was talking super softly. And you can see how low these files are here. Like, look at how small those waveforms are. Like, look at, look how low. This is. Like that's, this is crazy, crazy low. 
So I'm going to show you how to do this, how to adjust this and fix this. It's very simple. Uh, we're going to jump over into Audition from Premiere. So you can just right click on this. And if you have Audition installed from the Creative Cloud, you'll be able to see it here. Edit clip in Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is going to open up. Okay, so now Adobe Edition's opened up and you can see it. And it's as simple as kind of isolating an area. So I'm gonna take that stuff that's really bad. That's really bad. Let's see if I can bring this back. And you got this dial here in your DB. And I'm gonna bring this back. Whoa, whoa. Like, let's see. Th this was like, you know, completely clipped. And let's hear this now itself and bringing this way up and that is totally clipping but what you're going to be listening to is probably not going to be sounding too bad and i'm going to show you on the computer i mean this is this is crazy this is this is this is mind-blowing that that was do you see like it was that's the before it's 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 all clipped it's all clipped this is not like the speakers won't even play because it's so loud it's so blown <laughs> out now I'm gonna go edit, redo, boom, it's back. It's back and it and it works. Open bringing this way up and that. So, you know, you can highlight another section here. I can bring this down again. I can dial this, bring this all back down to a good kind of happy level. Something I can play with in Premiere, bring this back down. And then that stuff where I was talking really softly. Let's bring this up. Let's see how we can get this to sound. Oh. Let's bring this up a bit more. Let's see. Let's see how this sounds now. I'm just going to talk really, really quietly. You know, sometimes you do interviews with people. And, and so, I mean, I, I was talking really close to the mic there, so it's not going to sound great with that, but you can see how you can bring amplify some stuff that was recorded really way too low. Don't know how to project their voice at all. And, and you ask them, like, can you guys please project your voice a bit more? And that's it. I just go file, save, file, and I'm going to quit audition. I'm going to go back into Premiere, and you're going to see it's updated in Premiere here. So you guys can probably see why this really got me excited and, and how it like made my brain explode when I really first tried it myself because of the way I work. And I'm sure a lot of you guys kind of work a lot of the same way when you're out doing recording and you're doing interviews and you're doing things. A lot of times you don't have the full crew that you would need. And sometimes even when you do, there's still some errors that can happen and it's still hard to monitor things all the time for myself. And especially more so going into the season right now after during the COVID crisis, I'm sure I'm going to be going out more and more as a one man band. You know, that's kind of how production I'm going to see it going a lot forward for the time being right now. So I am going to be doing more and more of my sound myself and directing myself and shooting myself. And, you know, that was kind of one of the reasons why I invested in this new recorder for the 32-bit float is because it helps me that way. The same way autofocus helps me on the FX9 when I'm doing interviews and I can't always be looking at the monitor because I'm focused on doing the interview. The same way when I'm doing an interview like that and I want to be directing it, I don't want to always be really focusing on the audio. If you You can't focus on all those things the way that they need to be focused on and be focusing on what you're shooting or your content or directing what somebody's saying, especially during an interview situation. So a tool like this is super, super helpful, and especially if I have a bunch of people mic'd. If I have a few people with a lapels on, I'm using a boom. Th this is awesome. Like this is, I don't really have to worry too much at all about the levels. Okay, you're still gonna have issues. You could still have issues of uh, clothes rubbing on a lapel mic. Um, there could be people that are still going to hit the mic. Okay. You can have stuff like that, but for a lot of things, when you're levels and, and playing with different levels and something happens, that's really loud and, you know, booms and kind of clips your audio. This is a huge tool to have. 
So let me know what you guys think on this video on 32-bit float audio. Have you guys tried out 32-bit float audio yourself? Is this something you're going to look at investing in and getting a tool that can record 32-bit float audio? It would be awesome if they somehow they could have 32-bit float audio inside of a camera when you're recording as well. But this is an awesome tool. Thanks so much, guys. Please subscribe to the channel and please give me a like if you like this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.